There. That workshop. The perfect place for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks. What are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king, by Frankish law, that man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided, and they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though, united under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the Wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear, for we beareth not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest with Count Odo before. Gosselin and Ebos, warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of Paris, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests. Avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must- Brother, you talk too much! <laughs> Come on, let us go take that workshop now. Quite a show they put on. We'll have to fight those Franks soon. True, but today is not that day. My men are ready. Come. Let's take some ground for the catapults. I would never give my warriors a shameful death like that. Nor would I. But I have met rotten rulers in many lands. You speak true, Siegfried. The Franks have no monopoly on wickedness. Almost there. Now, let us travel light and stick to the rooftops. Siegfried Skullbreaker is here. Come, men! We shall take this workshop and make it our own! We scouted the place. They keep watch, but not well. And the sightlines? A perfect place for our catapults to hurl stones upon that cursed town. I never took you for a rooftop runner, Siegfried. I am no goat-footed climber like you, but I hold my own on cliffs and walls. Oh. Attack! Vengeance or death! Our new catapults are eager for battle. The crack of wood and stone is the sound of victory. And vengeance. The guards here are vigilant. This place. This place has a good line of sight on the city walls for our catapults. Well done, Sigmund.
Gives us another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson? The god of vengeance, who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes, Vida avenges him. Vida twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands, then stabs the beast through the belly. So say the Nordnir. Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. We will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp when all is ready, Siegfried. to the All-Father's Feast. Yeah. Pardon, friend. Did I hear you speak of a smuggler named Nolwyn? I did. That damn thief promised a jug of wine to guard her warehouse. Oh, and where is her warehouse? It's, uh, over to the east somewhere. Got a play cross painted on it. Thank you, my friend. Perhaps you should sleep it off before going back on guard duty. 
Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. A heathen monster bearing weapons on our holy ground! A trusted friend, good people, do not break the peace of our church. Who can trust a pagan diable? How many have you killed, fiend? Friends, remember. When the good Samaritan saw the beaten man, he had compassion and bound his wounds. You keep busy, Queen. Someone must tend to those who fall in battle. Plague did this, not war. War breeds plague, Eivor. I am not yet ready to return to Charles, if that is what brings you here. No. I seek a Breton who resides in this ward, name of Norman. I know her! A freelance thief! A disreputable woman, although not without talents to those who can pay. They say she can smuggle goods and messages over walls and past guards. Yes. So why do you seek this woman's help? I have urged the truce on all sides, without success. But I can still try. But Siegfried, the Frank killer, leads this army, not you. He inflicts his vengeance upon us, town by town. Because the Franks killed his brother. How many Northmen must die so Siegfried can avenge one man? Should his niece die too? Should you? I cannot stop entire armies. Only urge reason. And truce on all sides. I do what I can. You did save my life. I must take that first step and trust you, my good Samaritan. Thank you, Queen. I'm in your debt. I mean that. So, where is this Breton? Alas, I do not know. She visits from time to time. I know! I know the way to Norwin's hideout. Please, let me show Eivor! From the mouths of babes. <coughs> Very well, but hurry back, little bear. Not so fast, little prince. This place is not safe. Nowhere in Francia is safe now. Mother Richard says so. How is it you know where this smuggler works? Yesterday I went on an adventure and followed her. But she saw me, and waved. I felt silly. I've been down this way before. Thanks, Bernard. Get back to the Queen. Have fun, 
on, and let's have another adventure soon. friend, but I do not have any silver. I am not here to take your silver. I have no quarrel with you. Praise the saints, and I thank you for your fine and timely blade, but I must go. No, you see, I'm a friend of Prishadis, Queen of Francia. And I am married to the Pope. Long may he reign. They say you walk through the city's walls. I need your help. I am no ghost, just a simple bout from Brittany that has lost her way. Look, you are a smuggler. All of Paris knows it. Even the boy prince does. I need your help. And if I know a thing or two about all that, what is it worth to you? My friend Toka wants her necklace back. This I know. There is her chain, friend. Tell her to find me in Nantes when this is all over. Toka, she'll hear your words. All is well. So what do you need, Northerner? I seek a weakness in these walls. Is there a hidden tunnel, a secret door, something like that? No, no, not so simple. The Franks sealed the city well. But take this key. It will open the bridge door. The bridge? I can reach the bridge from outside. What I could use is a way to take it down. A little silver birdie told me that the bridge's foundations are in dire shape. I see. And if we can take that bridge down, the longships can encircle the city. You did not hear this from me. Farewell. Where is this bridge? It must be near. Smuggler was right. Some jars of grease will bring this bridge crashing down. I will set up the jars so we can destroy the bridge later, during the attack. Ha! 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 Ha!
tell me to scout the Northmen's army by myself? What do I... Hey, you don't belong down here. No, to be honest, neither do I. Then let us pretend we're both elsewhere. Eh, uh, why not? We are all doomed. You tell me to scout this Northmen's army by myself? Maybe if I moved something I could get across. Now well, they hold the city without the present bridge, bastards. Each of the island. Better return to the others. Beside us, nothing else. Not gold, not glory. Battle. You. Where are Siegfried and Toga? Ah, uh, battle must be near. The crow has come for the feast. You have a clever tongue, friend. But tomorrow, we all speak in a language older than words. Fate already knows who lives and who dies. Again I ask, where are the others? <sighs> Fetching more catapults for tomorrow's attack. You can wait. I shall wait. Somewhere else. Blood love and battle drops. It is the only time I am alive. Far from home, before another city of strangers. When did our lives become a saga, Sunin? Yes, I know the day, the very day when mother and father died. Count Odo will not hear reason. Charles plays games. I cannot trust the lives of my people with such men. Queen now. She I could trust, but she lacks power. My place is here. 
a secret and talker. Come with me. Eivor, you return. That means all is ready and we cannot turn back now. Why do you worry? You will collect more swords. I know how to fight other warriors on the field of battle. This is a city. There will be flames. It matters not. Tomorrow we will fight as warriors, not ruthless killers. This I swear upon my honor. Ah, Eivor the Talker. And to whom have you so freely given your word about how my battle goes? I said it. The guards heard it. That is enough. And if I say we burn this city to ashes and feed the crows with children, what say you? Then I would say mind who is first to feed the ravens. Lest it be yourself. Eivor does not mean these words. Quiet, Toka. Let the Toka speak. Come, Eivor. Tell me again how I shall feed the crows. My steel will speak for me tomorrow, to my foes. I have no quarrel with you, yet. Ha <laughs> ha Good! Good! Keep that fire burning through the night. It shall kindle our vengeance at the break of dawn. Time to go lie on my furs. How do you do that, Eivor? Sleep before a battle, I mean. Easy. I remember my mother's murder each moment. Second, I recall every word the old father ever said to me. And finally, I think upon this war-filled world, and of the next, the hall of endless wonder. Only then do I rest.